This video uses the CE-16808 as an example to describe the procedure and precautions for installing a card. The CE-16808 has three types of cards – MPU, LPU, and SFU. The following table lists the differences between their installation procedures. Tools – Phillips Screwdriver, EST Wrist Strap Install an MPU MPUs can be installed in slots 9 and 10 on the chassis. Take out an MPU from the ESD bag and slowly slide it into the slot along the guide rails until it cannot move any further. Push the ejector levers inward until they cannot move any further. Note, when installing a card, gently slide the card along the guide rails. Be careful not to hit the card connector with the back of the card, as this will bend the pins on the backplane connector. Use a Phillips screwdriver to tighten the captive screws on both sides of the MPU. Install an LPU LPUs can be installed in slots 1 to 8 on the chassis. The procedure for installing an LPU is the same as that for installing an MPU. Install an SFU Remove the backflow preventer latches from the SFU. Position the SFU in the slot and gently side it along the guide rails. Hold the wrenches with both hands and install them on the SFU. Gently push the SFU until the wrenches hook onto the inside of the slot. Push the wrenches inward until the SFU is all the way into the slot. Remove the wrenches and return them to the toolbox. Check whether a card is properly installed. Here an MPU is used as an example. Observe the Run G Alm R OFLY indicator on the MPU. If the indicator blinks green quickly, the MPU is loading the software or resetting. If the indicator blinks green slowly, the MPU is running properly. Run the Display Device Board command to check whether the MPU is running properly. If the alarm field is normal, the MPU is running properly. That brings this video to an end. Thank you for watching.